Hey people, Injured here, 3v3, Tiber Outpost, Blue Team. It's a whole bunch of Space Marines we have stilted with an Apothecary, support hero fighting in melee combat by default begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Alongside, Void Dragon with a Force Commander, very strong offense fighting in melee can also tank, disrupt and support. And rather than off the blue team, Chris Redfield, there he is, with a Tech Marine, starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair. The Space Wolves elite scheme here with double scouts out. Red team, Occam's Razor is a plague champion, starts off with a damage over time, bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support can also repair. Alongside, Wicked with a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support, fighting in the melee begins with a refractor shield, can shoot his own feathers in the head. Is this Deathcore of Krieg? It is indeed. And rather off the teams is Fear with a Warlock, a melee spellcaster that leaps into combat, some powerful disruption and support. Grabbing the contested power southwest corner, Tiber Outpost. Then I love these guys for playing Tiber Outpost. Cool map, I think. I still remember when they released this after after the game came out, saying that they had a big map on the way. It's awesome. Of course, Commander being chased by the Lord Kumaso with his shield up. Turns now to face him. Battle cry is popped to buff the. Pax and the scout. Scout's having to retreat though. Turns the tides. Knocks him over a couple of times. And gets him, maybe? If that wasn't a battle cry special, I think he would have got the uh, Lord Kumasar there. Here comes the tactical marines into melee with the death core of free fellows. They should have spades to use when they get into melee, these guys. Double cap very early on for the blue team. There's no natural VPs on this map. There's a stomp. There's a southwest VP here. Banshees are taking out the Tech Marine. We do eventually have some Tactical Marines for Chris Redfield. Here's the Central VP. Slightly higher up the map than it is towards the bottom. And here's the Northeast VP. Did the tax die? Oh. Tax dropped to model. Here's the contested VP then. We've got Sniper Scouts up for Steel Tid. Still a very difficult name to say for me for some reason. But the carry gets one smack and then has to leave. Got some repairs for the Sentinel. And red team should be able to take the mid now. Double CSM it is for Uckham's Razor. Fear might be able to do a lot of work on this map with webways because it's so large. Noise Marines on the way. Devastators for Steel Tid. All is quiet. Got a natural power here for blue, this is the south, and towards the west one for red team, which keeps a lot of action towards that place. They got a lot of contested points as well, because if it wasn't like this, then most of the action will be concentrated on the central and northeastern VPs, because they're closer together and easier to hold. Eternal War up for the CSM, both of them, 20% more damage. Contested power built up here by Stilted. Gonna be taken. There is power in the mid as well. Natural powers in the mid. There's one for the red team and one for the blues. Banshees on the prowl. No shotguns yet, fellas. What's going on? None of them have shotguns. Where's your power gone, Miss Chris Redfield? Oh, it's gone on Bionics. Banshees dealt with, I guess. Didn't take much damage either. Destructor flies out. We have channeling runes for the Warlock to help the Howling Banshees. They have the VP. Meanwhile, back towards the mid. Noise Marines being tied up here. Got jumped by the Assault Squad of Void Dragon. Steelted with Devastators. More of them. Where are these fellas then? Trying to fight the Northeast. Multi laser turret up. 462 to 386. Such, such isolation, that VP up there. Sniper Scouts. It's not very efficient to have your snipers shooting a guardsman, but because they're so such low health, low impact models. Probably better for those guys to target the commissar actually. Here comes the little commissar. Is that the uh yep? Yeah, power sword is in with lead by example. Stop to have a look. Now he comes in. There's the stomp. Oh, only hits one model. Oh, hits two models. Could have shifted a little bit maybe to get them both. 453 to 380. Wicked staying in play for a really long time against two Space Marine players and gets away and does a good job. Well played, Wicked. I 
if they went out immediately, they would have lost all this stuff. They're probably still going to lose it, but they lost it a lot sooner. Power is going to be stolen, it seems. They don't want to just bash it. Occam's Razor hanging out in the mid with some more heretics up, actually. Maybe some grenade launcher guys to help with the double devs. It's really out of the way, wreck point over there. Apothecary is going for it. Force commander's down in the mid. What is this? Shotgun scouts bashing power and bashing guardians. They're trying to chuck the grenade. But the model died that was chucking it and didn't move when the grenade was thrown. A little bit sloppy there from Chris Redfield. Warlock grabs the VP. And the tech queen was taken out. They're probably watching the tech queen. Bionics, is, the bionics alone is not enough to kill banshees kind of thing. They just get they just get up and smack you. Or chop you. Bile spirit in play for the fake champion. And there's a bilious discharge too. Heretics on retreat path. CSM on retreat path. More heretics as well. They, they, should, they should not get away here. But they have. Occam's Razor not paying attention to, to that retreat. Easily could have taken them out with the CSM and the other heretics there. What was that? All reliable? Yep. Hadrogen's coming in for Wicked. Fear with Guardians and Banshees. Into tier 2. Void Dragon into tier 2 as well. Much stronger though with Tax and Assault Squad going into tier 2. Force Commander still down on that central VP. But the carry didn't go for them. Red team power bashing. So quick that power bash with the Bile Spear and the Noise Marines. And the Sentinel will stomp up there and decap that VP. What is this? This power built up as well. Bloody hell. They're at plus 69. The red team and the blue team even are at plus 62. Everyone's got tons of power going on right now. Tapped Marines with their Sergeant. There's the channeling from the Warlock. And there's the War Shout. And there's, what are you going to do about this? Shotgun Scouts are coming in. I'm really surprised they didn't double up on the Shotgun Scouts. I just want the other Scouts on map, I think. Tax. Dropping two models. Did you use your Bionics? I must have used it. Put a Plasma Gun in play. I think you should just got out of there. Bionics and run. Back towards the northeast. 379 to 329. Devastators are they get shut down by the blast the uh, sonic blaster shuts down range weaponry when you see that symbol appear. It doesn't force stuff to go into melee though, which is interesting. It's just gonna stand in place looking confused. Nice grenade though, holy crap. Lucky to get away with anything there is Ockham's razor. Void Dragons back to their feet. Other created level 2 with the customized Storm Bolter 359 to 329. They got the revive then. The map is looking very red though. Force one with a power fist. And now Artificer armor on the way. Catechins. Doing that battle cry stuff. Can the Catechins get him in melee? No, they have to retreat. Couldn't quite get the Force Commander again. Where's the full auto? Is it used already? Must have been used. Right? Expect to see full auto on the Lord Commons, so maybe I just missed it. That's what kind of misses. Tax being messed up. It's been a rough game for Tactical Marines so far. Good shot from the Plasma Cannon. Is the Apothecary shooting at it or shooting at the Guardsman? It is shooting at the Sentinel. Webway up here for fear. And they've got another one where? Another one here. And another one in base. Should be a pretty good investment. Here is Chris Redfield with a Razorback. Supporting a bunch of infantry. They can reinforce off it and jump in it to drive around. Fear Tier 3 with a Seer Council on the way. And Wicked with a Chimera. What is this? This is flanking Eldar here. Uh oh. And the devs weren't set up. Full auto on the lead Banshee. Warlock able to jump in though. Plasma Cannon does some friendly fire. Stomp comes in. Yeah, that was rough. That's rough for Steel Tid. Did they get away with everything? No, one of the devs didn't get away. The drop pod didn't come anywhere near in time. And now the Banshees will smack it. 323 to 319 was this. Just the Force Commander hanging out. And 
and uh, a power bash. So you cancel out the web weight. A power melee squad that all jump on you. You thought one warlock was bad enough. Also have this range damage re reduction aura. They killed the scouts. Chris Redfield not paying attention at all to those guys. They only had their default bolt guns anyway. Not a huge loss. Razorback comes in. Maybe they were trying to get the Razorback here. They should have been moving the scouts if that was the case though. Of course, one's going to fall. Throws that Witchblade into his chest. Can they get the Warlock though? I think they can. Yes, they can. Warlock falls. 319 to 319 on the VPs. Uh-oh. You guys really should have got into the Razorback. Really mismanaged here. Shotgun Blast might save them. Need to run, guys. No idea why they stayed in melee that long. No idea. Very, very odd. Just being overwhelmed a bit by the Eldar coming at him. Level 2 Plague Champion here with Armor of Pestilence and Mucus Discharge. Dreadnought on the way now for Chris Redfield. That'll help against that melee Eldar army. Sentinel has a missile launcher 2, 311 to 314. Sniper Scout's getting shots. Chaos Dreadnought is really far up the map here. And that's a last cannon in play for Steel Tid. It's not quite in range of the Dreadnought. Which is breaking a lot of plants and stuff. Attacks pop in their Kraken Bolts and they have a missile launcher. Coming at them from two sides. Occam's Razor doesn't seem too worried. Dreadnought could go into melee with those guys, maybe. Oh, taking last cannon shots now. Dreadnought might be in trouble. Attacks can't stay there, though. The Dreadnought might be okay. I think it's far enough out. There's a lot of damage coming in. These guys are turning into Stern Guard. Awkward time to do it, but they made it work. Here we go. Stern Guard coming in. Should have, I think they have their Kraken Bolts in by default. But it doesn't give them a Decorator until they change it. Whirlwind in play for Steelted. Come the Eldar though. Infiltrated by something. Were they infiltrated? Is that Cloak of Shadows or something? Must be. Yeah, Cloak of Shadows by the Warlock. Paneling runes and that Merciless Witchblade. As the cannon runs. Was very tempted to charge up a shot there, I think, and try and get it off, but smart to run. Wouldn't have got away. Fully built up power, is it? No. It's stolen. Drop pod came in. For what reason? To reinforce those guys? I guess they were in a fight. And now they're not moving at all, Chris Redfield. Completely idle. This guy's shooting at the webway. How are they able to see it? Oh, I think the force point was just close enough for a second. I guess Chris Redfield is just holding the bottom. That's why they're idle. And there's that whirlwind back there. Dreadnought smacking the webway, and they are capping the wreck points. Can't just hold the bottom though. Red team have the other two VPs, 260 to 298. Not that many VPs in it though. Fear with a fire prism on the way. Maybe Void Dragon and Steel Tid can both hit the mid. They'd be fighting three players though. Chris Redfield has to move up, I think, and they are. They've piled into the Razorback. Dreadnought stomping around. Tech Marine wants to get into the Razorback as well, I think. Got the Refractor Field on the way. Are they going to jump in? Nope, it's keeping them separate for now. Gearing up for a push of the Space Marines here. Whirlwind gets a, re a revive, a repair. Banshee's getting annoyed by Whirlwind shots. Is that Mark of Zinch? It is Mark of Zinch on the Dreadnought now. And we've got a shrine back there to reinforce stuff. A, sh a Nurgle shrine. What is this going on? Oh, they found the fire prison. Don't send in the Dreadnought. Baneblade on the way says Wicked. Indeed it is. Tier 3 now for Stilted and Chris Redfield. Kicking off. Big tree in the way, so let's turn the camera. I think the Force Commander is going after the Banshees there. Banshees are kind of getting messed up, actually. That's kind of getting shots on the Dreadnought. See a Council in there on the Laz Cannon now. 
Ouch. Maybe purification rights would be good for the apothecary here. The seer council are quite scary. Oh, they killed the apothecary. I think the devs got away. I do have arm of the apothecarian. So they geared up for a big push that kind of failed. Oh, scouts decapped up here and then maybe died? Or at least one of them died. What do you have, Mr. Lord Commissar? You got flat jacket for inspire courage into inspire terror and stubbornness. And Sentinel takes out the whirlwind there. Oh, look at this. Maybe get a power bash, but this is really far forward to have a dreadnought. Steel Tid letting them know that they are alone. Razorback goes down. 214 to 290. Land Raider Redeemer on the way for Void Dragon. This is not a good way to use your Dreadnought. Just getting three hits is the Fire Prism now. Are they going to lose this Dreadnought like this? They might. Down to half health. Tech Queen is there to repair maybe. It's taken way too many shots. There's the repairs. Should not have taken any of those shots, let alone five of them. Might just get chased down here. Oh, it's enhanced. From the foul true's wing, I think. Yes, it is. That was that white effect you saw. I don't think the dreadnought's gonna get away, you guys. Injured sad face. Down it goes. Very sloppy from Chris Redfield, but they've dropped in a venerable dreadnought now. They've made up for it with another better Dreadnought. There's the Emperor's Fist. 178 to 290. Blue team are on the back foot here. Dreadnought charging forwards into a Bane Blade and a Mark of Zeet Dreadnought. The very kamikaze tech marine we have here. It doesn't look after their vehicle super well. Bane Blade with a big demolisher cannon type thing. Dreadnought does back off this time. 164 to 290. I mean, there is the last cannon keeping the things at bay. Chimera there, they can reinforce off. The Noble Shrine they can reinforce off. Also heals them in big bursts. Here comes the Land Raider Redeemer of Void Dragon. Can this turn the game around for the blue team? What is Stilted waiting for? The red? They're floating a lot. They should buy something. They're probably waiting for the red to get Terminators. That's a massive float, though. Three hits from this last cannon. Look at that. They're just out repairing it. Just move it back, guys, and it won't get shot. Can't out repair the last cannon. I don't think. I guess if you had enough things repairing. Chaos Tread says wicked. Uh oh. Can it move? It can't move. It can't move backwards. Oh, reliable. Disrupts them. Well played, wicked. 130 to 219. And they get hit by a plasma cannon. Use your freak, use your beat they say. 127 to 290, another fire prism for fear. Still, still floating insane amounts of resources. Some tanks or something. There's some more tax or some more devs. While you wait for your red, you know. Get some more devastators up. Ouch. Another last kind of something. They're going for the tank. Dreadnought coming in. Wants some action. Very impatient, this guy. I don't think it's going to last long there, but we'll see. Flooding in now. Uh, some chaos stuff. we got some chosen play coins in there. Everything gets frag assaulted. Dreadnought doing a really good job, you know, against that bane. Holy crap. Force Commander goes down, yes, but the Power Fist helped against the Bane Blade, and they got it, and the Dreadnought stands for now. I'm not sure how long this is going to last for. Yeah, down it goes. Got the Bane Blade, though. Chimera goes down, too. Look at this push. It's a good push. Frenzy Barrage. Void Dragon down to two units, though. Chris Redfield down to a single unit. It was a good push, but at what cost? Now they're going after the Dreadnought with that big Multinaut to get shots in. Down it goes. Some Assault Terminators now for Void Dragon. Unique to the Force Command of these fellas with Thunder Hammers and Storm Shields. 
tier 3 for Occam's Razor. This is... Is that another Venerable Dreadnought? Nope, it's Terminators for Stilted. And they did get their tank. Land Raider Redeemer on the way now for Chris Redfield. Blue team have a real chance here. Just got a lot of high power units on the field. And they're going from the northeastern one. Chris Redfield's Tech Marine up there. Well played. Guardian's on the way for Fear. Big flank from the Eldar though. They're retreating back to the land where they can. They get to it. They can. Big frag assault. Here comes in Noxious Cloud. Looks like we have a Laz and a Predator for Stilted. There's the wave of the Red Team coming in. Fire Prisms. Try to help focus down the land raider, make it move back at least. Commissar eats a Lazkin into the back of the head and goes down. They're holding it though. Force Wonder should be engaging, surely. Just kind of hanging out. The rocket run. Can they get the land raider down? They can get it down. Force Wonder did nothing. Should have been helping, should have been tying up the Plagueman or something there. Triple cap for the blue team though. They did a lot of work but they got pushed back again. Oh, can they get the Predator tank? Very nearly did. Mines dropped in there, looks like... Where is the Land Raider going? It's just moving now, looks like it's going towards the mid, the Plagueman's are going to wipe. Rockham's Razor completely forgot about them, I think. Everything else had retreated. Where's the Blastmaster for these guys, too? Webway on the VP from Fear. This could win the game for the red team, the Webways. Fear's placement and use of them could be vital. Terminator Assault Squad have dropped a model. Gorsman is walking through mines with his shield up. They're being spotted by these scouts over there. So they can now shoot at them. There we go. If you spot the mine, it won't go off if you walk over it, but you can still you can still be shot to go off. So it's best to clear them anyway. Can they survive this? The space means they can't. Too much power melee. What level are these guys now? Level 4 Seer Council. Always insanely scary when they're level 4. Tech for me stayed in play, though. Oh, draining energy. With the most of the switchblade, can't use his shield as much. Can they escape? Ouch, even their jumps do power melee damage, I believe. Down they go. No, they can't make it out. We've got some Terminators now, and this is not a good place to put them at all. The wrong side of all this power melee. They go after the Force Commander first, though. Banshee's having to back off. Got the Seer Council still in there. Is it kicking off? Over here it is. Land Raider is in play. Frag Assault on the CSM, I think. There it is. It's a good hit. Big champion almost went down. 88 to 96. Red team do have the Southwest, though. Thanks to Fear. Did the Terminators get away for Chris Redfield? They're being chased. That was such a bad place to put them. They've used their teleport. I don't think they're going to get out of it. So Council is going to slice them up. Terrible place to put them. Down they go. And we see a sink kill. That's a pretty cool sink kill, those guys. Void Dragon's tank now. Another tank on the way this time for Chris Redfield. And the land raid is still up. But the grade level's the 7. And they have the mid. It is a 2 to 1 for the red team, though. 80 to 96. Evened up the scores. Guardians on capping duty. Blue team still have this power. How many webways do we have? One there, two, three, four. Four out in the field. There's obviously one back at the Eldar base as well. And they, as I said, could be absolutely vital. Neiman Russ on the way for Wicked. Where the Chosen Plague Marines at? Level two. They're going towards the mid. Kicking off towards the northeast, is it? Nope. Those guys are bashing power. Eldar coming out the webway. Lightning Claw Terminators though for Void Dragon. Bad news for the Eldar. Not using the Tannany yet. Is that another Venerable? 
That's his tax dropped in by Chris Redfield. 63 to 93 single cap for blue team. Tech Marine goes down. They seem to just be avoiding the Terminators quite well here. Well played by Fear. Then it just blindly run into them. Draws them back into a bunch of plasma and double fire prisms here. Now they turn to engage. When they got the numbers on their side and the Terminators might go down. The Terminators will go down. I think there's an orbital though. I think the Terminators might die from their own orbital here. Yeah, pretty sure they did. It's a good nuke though. That was a hell of a fight. Triple cap for the blue team though. Ow! Scout's down here getting it done. Autark dropped in to try and get it back, or at least get a decap. There's the decap, but they're taking so much damage, this Autark. They might just die. Wicked down to a single unit of Kasukin. Double cap for... I think they're going to win this. What a weird game. Chris Redfield lost so many units. So did Void Dragon, and they had all the webways. Just couldn't hold it down. GG. Well played, blue team fellas. Steel Tid was quite solid and was kind of the anchor that they could hold on to. Land Raider wasn't even that damaged at the end. We had a level 9 Apothecary, level 6 Force Commander, had Teleporter Pack at the end. Bunch of vehicles going on. Level 6 Tech Marine, level 4 Plague Champion, being run over by the Land Raider here. Level 3 Commissar was down, and a level 10 Warlock down. Hell of a game. Not the highest level play, but uh, I was very excited to see this map in my replay folder, so I casted it. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.